Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessing Foundry. Today's reading will be a general read to see what messages Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. If you do like this, I invite you to like, share, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate your continued support. We'll dive right in. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, 5D light and above, please come near. Please connect with the Pisces Collective, the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel to get the messages that Pisces needs at the time they view this video. Also, you guys, um, there's a new moon. Um, I believe it's gonna be a new moon in Capricorn that's on, depending on where you're at, but tomorrow um, in Eastern time zone, it's going to be like at 12, 15 in the morning. So on the 12th or 13th, depending on where you guys are at. Um, but it's a great time to set your new intentions of what you want to bring into fruition and what you want to manifest. <clears throat> Pardon me. So some of you, you, you know, if there's particular things you want to focus on manifesting, you might want to write them on a piece of paper and, <clears throat> excuse me, and offer them to the universe or whatever your intuition guides you to do. We'll dive right in. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces today? What messages do you have for Pisces today? So we have the Emperor coming out. Some of you may be dealing with a person in authority or somebody who's in Aries. Maybe somebody older than you. What other messages do you have? And we have the High Priest and the King of Swords. So let's see. Okay. So you may be dealing with somebody who has Aries and air in their chart because here we have you as the high priestess coming out what other messages do you have for pisces right now please spirit what do you want pisces to know please thank you and we have the seven of cups so there may have been some wishful thinking some um there might be internet communication coming through there might be some um hopes and desires or you or somebody else might have a lot of options or distractions we'll continue reading and see what we get what other messages do you have for Pisces right now, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces right now? For some of you, you may be selected. I'm getting, if you're in a, a situation where um, you're up for something, you might be the one selected by leadership. Um, we have, okay, put these back, they say. Okay, what other messages do you have for Pisces today? Please be very clear, Spirit. So we have victory and success. So if you are in a position, in a situation where you might be selected, it seems as though there's going to be victory for you. What other messages do you have for Pisces? What other messages do you have for Pisces today, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know? Anything else? Hold on. So we have the Queen of Wands. So you're going to be, somebody feels very, um, in, being selected is going to lead you to a place of be, feeling very attractive, very in your power, or somebody feels like this with you and they've been, okay, thank you. So Spirit just told me to put the cards like this and to read them like that. So what we have here is there may in fact be a dynamic with somebody in leadership or some type of organization um, where they're looking at you. This Alternatively, this could be um options that you have around you maybe you are dealing with an aries or maybe you're dealing with a masculine air sign which would be gemini libra or aquarius and then of course the high priest represents yourself and it seems as though there may be a lot of different options or a lot of distractions or wishful thinking but there's going to be victory here it seems as though somebody views you as being extremely attractive, extremely um, self-empowered. You may, They may even feel that at times you're very bold. Um, you may have entrepreneurial ventures that you're going to also be successful on. Some of you may be working with online, with online um, businesses or be starting up some new bu business that is going to be successful. And here we have success as an entrepreneur. We'll go ahead and get clarification into these now. Spirit, please clarify these cards for Pisces. What is the message that you want Pisces to know regarding these cards, please? What is the message you have for Pisces? What is this Emperor card? 
What is this Emperor card, please, for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this Emperor card? What do you want Pisces to know about this Emperor? Thank you. So it seems like right now, whatever this Emperor is representing, there's some type of standstill or this Emperor energy. An organization may have been stuck or a person may be feeling stuck like they they do not feel as though they're in their power or they can't go forward with the choice at, at the moment. What is this King of Swords, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Swords? What is this King of Swords for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know? Oh, okay, so they may have been stuck, but there is a decision that's going to be coming forward. What is this King of Swords? What is this King of Swords, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces? Thank you. Yep, yeah, absolutely. They're going to... So just as I was just saying before the chariot came out, there's many Pisces watching. So the scenario is going to be different for each of you and as we continue to get clarification we'll have more understanding of this dynamic so it'll help you understand it but here we have the card of aries it may be somebody that's older than you this may represent we i'm sorry we have the card of the emperor <laughs> and it may represent somebody who's in aries it may represent somebody who's in a leadership position an organization or um somebody you're involved with that may be older than you but it, they, this person has been in a place where this person or organization or this energy, we'll just call it energy, has been in a place where they felt stagnant and stuck and unable to see a way forward. Um, and But now we see that there is going to be some type of clarity, some type of shift to move them forward. And right underneath this, we have the Six of Wands. So this person or this organization or whatever this however this relates to you, because it's a general reading, is going to make a decision to move forward. Um, and they're going to move forward towards you. What is this high priestess, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this high priestess? I think you've intuitively known this, but you, you didn't want to count your chickens before they were hatched, right? Or put all your, bed, all your eggs in one basket. So this may very well be a business pursuit, or there may have been something that you felt was very toxic about the situation um, and it concerned you. One more card to clarify this High Priestess, please, Spirit. One more card to clarify this High Priestess, please. Because maybe you had app apprehensions or you were hesitant about the situation. You didn't necessarily have all the clarity or you weren't... Okay, so we have the High Priestess clarified by the emperor and the devil card here so what this is telling me is to go back to this first place because what it is saying and right before the emperor card came out i was feeling that this person or situation was stuck because something was hindering them um if this relates to a love situation this person who you identify as the emperor was in fact stuck because they were dealing with something very toxic maybe an addiction maybe um a karmic relationship, what what have you. Again, apply it as it best resonates with your situation. But here, um, oh, oh, thank you. So we also see that if this is a business, they were having some business difficulties that they had to overcome um, due to some type of business structure. Um, they were not able to move forward because the finances or the business um, was not able to move forward at that point in time. But we do in fact see the energy is shifting now okay like this we do in fact see that there's some type of change that is occurring here to move forward in some type of decision de decision so spirit what is the seven of cups we have the seven of cups please show pisces what they need to know about the seven of cups what is the seven of cups please what is the seven of cups please what do you want pisces to know Okay, so there is, in fact, some communication, some message of truth, some message of choice and victory coming forward. What else is this Seven of Cups, please? What do you want Pisces to know about the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups, please? What do you want Pisces to know about the Seven of Cups, please? What is the Seven of Cups? Thank you. So there is going to be some decision to... I'm getting this is... This person wants to move forward... This person or situation wants to move forward into victory and success. So again, if this is regarding a job offer or some type of financial situation, um, the indecision is going to have clarity so you can move forward to success and victory. 
if this is a love dynamic or a relationship dynamic, um, there's going to be some type of clarity that comes to enable you to move forward to victory and success. So I see here that out of, out of all this confusion and distraction and wishful thinking, um, there is in fact going to be a decision, a truth that occurs to move this person from this, this person or energy, right? From the seven of cups into the eight of cups so they can move towards the six of wands and the queen of wands, which clearly the queen of wands is you because it's right underneath the high priestess. And that's how I'm picking up the energy. So ultimately this person is going to move from the seven of cups to the eight of cups because they've had the clarity and decision that they, the clarity and, um, information has come to them or communication has occurred something has occurred within this person's um i want to say psyche or within a business there's been communication that says yes you have the go ahead to move forward there's something that has shifted the energy from being stuck in something that was hindering to moving forward with okay now we can move forward with the decision and the clarity that came is moving the person or business or situation, the energy from the seven of cups into the eight of cups so they can leave being stuck, leave toxic situations, leave being hindered behind and move towards the six of wands. What is the six of wands? What do you want Pisces? Whoa. So Pisces, this first, again, apply this as it resonates with your situation. If it's business, this is going to be success and victory with an organization that's going to enable you to have groundedness and you're going to be able to celebrate it. If this is regarding love, somebody is coming towards you, you know, perhaps we have a number, we have cancer energy, we have Capricorn, we have Aries and we have air. Um, we have, yeah, so apply, I mean, those are just the energies. That doesn't mean it's in the chart, but it could be. Um, but here we have somebody who has made a decision, has a clarity that they would in fact like to come forward towards you. They may in fact see you as a twin flame. They may have this ace of swords that we have. They could have been in a lot of confusion, but they, uh, they're they understanding things more clearly now. And they're seeing that you may in fact be their twin flame. They may have just learned what a twin flame is, but either way they see you as somebody that they can build with this the four is a solid foundation and they want to come towards you with the six of wands and have victory with you pisces and the um yeah okay so and what is this queen of wands please what do you want pisces to know about this queen of wands what is this queen of wands for pisces please spirit what would you like pisces to know about this queen of wands please spirit Hold on. They want to make a durable offer to you. So again, Pisces, if this is a regarding a job or some type of financial situation, you are definitely going to come out ahead. You're going to have victory in the situation. You're going to move out of any waiting period or stagnation. You're going to be receiving communication with this Ace of Swords um, that you know somebody would like to, in fact, move forward and have victory and stability with you, whether that's a job offer, whether that's a, a lover coming in, but they do see you as somebody that's very desirable, that is going to handle business, and that's very, a, a very attractive person, uh, either a very attractive candidate for a job position, very in, attractive person to invest with, or a very attractive person to be in union with. And here we see, in fact, that they, they want to come forward and have victory because they see you as a good person to partner with. They see you as a divine counterpart. They see you as bringing stability and foundation. And they want to come forward and give you an offer, a very durable, tangible offer for this new beginning. Spirit, one card for the overall message for Pisces. One card for the overall message for Pisces for this reading, please. And I, I think Pisces, you you have you've seen a lot of what's going on and you kind of like in your gut or in your intuition, you've known whether again, whether it's a business, you've understood that with the, the business dynamics, you know, were on hold or there was pauses while they, they had um, maybe restructuring or business changes and you were waiting for clarity. 
on how the business would move forward and now they're going to extend an offer or with a financial position, maybe you're waiting to get some financial news. Maybe here we have a legal matter where there was some type of attorney or courts involved. You're going to successfully move forward from that and come out of the burden and you're going to get a win and, and victory in this situation. It's going to resolve in your favor. And in love, we have, of course, that a toxic cycle or some type of burden or addiction is being lifted and there's a decision and clarity to move forward um, with a new offer in love. Spirit one card for the overall message for Pisces for this. Thank you. And we have temptation. So that, in fact, is the devil card again. So here we're seeing one more. What was this one? Hold on. Trapped in fear. One more card, please, Spirit. One more card to understand this fully. Out of this temptation. Hold on. Sometimes they spit out. One more card, please, Spirit. One more card, please. Show the answer to this. The outcome. Please show the outcome. One card for the outcome here. Thank you. All right. So here, memories of love. So for some of you, this is definitely um, a somebody, a lover, a, a twin flame, or a soulmate may in fact be coming towards you for this new offer. Um, but here we have temptation and trapped in fear. So the stagnation, the, this Eight of Swords that we were seeing and the Seven of Cups here was in fact because there was difficulties that were being faced and there was the stagnation here, which, you know, is the Eight of Swords again, that, you know, people weren't able to move forward. So we have the Devil again and we have the Eight of Swords again. So that's reiterating the fact that there wasn't able to be momentum or forward progress in this situation until there was clarity or the release of burdens here. And then we have memories of love. So independent of what type of scenario this is for you, you know, the as we see in this Queen of Wands, either this business, this relationship person, or this love interest thinks of you extremely fondly. And even though they might not be showing it, you know, because they've been really stuck in their headspace or stuck They've been held down by something which has really taken their energy. But here we see that there, there is, sixes are a card of relationships, harmony. Um, and here we see that this is a very favorable view that they, they have of you, whether it's, you know, a company wanting to hire you or um, somebody wanting to come into union with you. Spirit, please give Pisces an angel answer card. Any angel answer card for timing for this, please? Please give a card of timing. One card of timing for this message. Thank you much. Big happy changes. So while that's not exactly specific, we understand that, you know, this new opportunity that's coming towards you, whether it's in business, in love, in financial security, or in other types of relationship, it's going to definitely add to the value of your life and make you feel really happy and I'm, I'm getting a sense of renewal and a sense of feeling free and here here Pisces we have you know the chariot card and the six of wands so whoever's coming towards you f with this offer definitely wants to have a victory with you and and I think they see the true beauty in you and they see what you bring to the table and they see you know your self-confidence and that you are a very attractive person either for this relationship either for a partnership or either for um, a financial opportunity. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.